So in Register Pro, it's called Custom Default Year Override or, or Default Year Out of Fields. That's what it's called. It's under <coughs> Register, and it's called Custom Default Year Override. And what, essentially, the, the, the premise of this is that, let's say it's the year 2023, and I'm about to enter a whole bunch of transactions for the year uh, 2022, okay? So right now, when you create a keyboard, when you create a, a transaction, and let me, um, let me close the left navigation bar, and let me put this in takeoff paper ledger mode, for a second. So right now, if I'm if I'm going to create a transaction directly in the register and I go to check, I can use my dating shortcuts and put, let's say, 05, 16, 22, hit tab, and that works. That gives me 2022. By default, if I skip the year, so if I put 05, 16, and hit tab, it defaults 2023. This is standard QuickBooks Online functionality. You can skip the slashes, you can skip the year, and it will give, it will add the year for you. Well, somehow, <laughs> Mark figured out how to overwrite that. And let's say, for example, you're gonna sit there and enter a whole bunch of transactions for 2022 or 2021 or 2020, really doesn't matter. You come in here and you change it. So let's say, I'm gonna do transactions for 2018, okay? And then you sit there and you can skip putting the last four uh, year digits and it'll auto add 18 for you. So let's say I'm doing January 1st, 0101, hit tab, it auto adds the 18 for me. Like, again, again difficult to appreciate um, in its face, but when you're entering manual transactions for a particular year, th that's going to save you two keystrokes per date. Two keystrokes per date is a lot. It's a lot. Now, a lot of people tell me, Hector, I don't use the register that much, or I would use uh, banking instead, and I don't need to do that. True, but some people use a register. Some people have to enter transactions in the register. Now, could we add this feature across the board, all of QuickBooks Online? That's the next frontier. Um, unfortunately, the date pickers in QuickBooks Online are designed a little bit uh, kind of different. Um, so, so we, we don't know if we're going to be able to execute that, but little by little, we'll figure out how to add that because that date that everybody uses dates and every transaction has a date. So like the, the common denominator across all transactions, it's a date, right? Entering a date. So if we can save your time with just, just specifically with dates, I think it would go a long way.